Did you know that artificial intelligence has made it possible to go from writing one blog article a day to eight? In this video, we're going to be showing you how to use and optimize the content that is put out from one of WriteSonic's most popular tools, the AI Article Writer 3.0. This tool will produce high quality, full length SEO considered blog articles for you to make adjustments to that on average will 8x your ability to create blog articles. Let's dive into it. After logging into WriteSonic, navigate to the AI Article Writer 3.0 on the dashboard and click on it. The article writer will open up and you'll be able to see that the blog writing process has been broken down for you into four steps. In step one, we'll communicate to WriteSonic the ideas that we have for topics that we'd like to create content for. This step will use SEO best practices to generate options for titles for our blog posts. In the next step, we'll select one of the titles created by the AI Writing Assistant, and then WriteSonic will generate opening paragraphs for us to select from. Our selection from the choices it provides will simultaneously help WriteSonic make decisions about the structure and information included in the content it will create next, while helping it select a tone for that content. After selecting and revising the opening paragraph, WriteSonic will automatically generate blog article outlines for us to choose from and revise. These outline points will serve as the H2 headers for the blog to help your audience quickly find the information in the article that they're looking for. And finally, WriteSonic will use the information that we've provided it thus far to fill in the outline with full text that we can amend to create accurate, optimized, and stylized blogs in minutes. It's important to note that if you're a seasoned blog writer and already have a pretty solid idea of what you want to write about, or even if you've already created an outline for your blog and know what you want your H2 headers to be, that you can skip straight to step four and manually enter your title, intro, and outline to have WriteSonic generate the copy for you. But if you're not someone who's well-versed in blog writing, you can know that the decisions WriteSonic makes for you are done so while valuing making your content as searchable as possible. For the purposes of this video, we're going to start with step one so that you can see start to finish how helpful of a workflow this is at mirroring the pattern that professional copywriters use in their writing process. So in the topic field, you can decide how broad of a topic you'd like WriteSonic to start with when making decisions about your writing. For instance, you can go very broad and input something like digital marketing. Select the number of titles that we'd like ideas for, I'll up this to five. Click the Generate Ideas button and WriteSonic will return fairly wide and broad titles for you to choose from. But if you provide WriteSonic with more specific information, it will create more specific titles. For instance, if we search for the title related to digital marketing for e-commerce brands, we get content that will be more tailored towards these specific topics. When deciding what type of content to write about for your brand, you'll want to do a fair amount of keyword research to help you select the best topics, which is something that we'll be covering in another video. So be sure to like and subscribe. Our top tips for providing inputs that will provide valuable content titles are one, your topic should give a clear identification of what your article will be about. Two, incorporate your primary keywords in order to make your article more appealing from an SEO perspective. And three, use numbers if needed. For example, five ways to rock a matte lipstick. If you follow these steps, AI will generate the best possible titles for your topic. You should choose the title that best describes your topic and covers all relevant aspects of it. And if you're not satisfied with the generated titles, you can click the regenerate button to generate more variants and pick the best one. But know that the quality of the article titles that are generated will depend heavily on the completeness of your input. You're able to edit, copy, and delete any of the titles that are generated. And you're also able to rate each of the titles that were generated to help WriteSonic make better decisions for you as you continue to use it. As a note, with each step along the way, you can select from multiple languages and you can adjust the quality of the content that is written. We always recommend leaving this setting to premium unless you're a large content production house that's creating many hundreds of pieces of content each month and you're valuing quantity over quality. We'll leave the language in English and the quality set to premium for now. After selecting a title, we can move on to step two where we'll be generating an intro. As you can see, our selected title has been brought over, but we can make edits here if we'd like. After we have our title as we like it, we can select the number of intro paragraphs that we'd like WriteSonic to put in front of us and then generate intros. Sweet. WriteSonic has generated five different introductory paragraphs for us to choose from based on the title that we selected. If we read over each of these titles, we can see that they've been crafted to highlight specific information related to the topic and have also been written in different tones. 
With each of the intros, we can edit, copy, delete, and rate them, just as we did for the titles. And the more that we touch upon the content that Rightsonic has created for us and communicate with it about its decisions, it will continue to make better decisions for our content as we continue to use it. It's a good idea to read all of the intros that are created and edit one of them to include your preferred tone between the choices that Rightsonic gave you, as well as the preferred content choices it made. I'll select this intro because I prefer more casual tones. I'll make a couple quick tweaks to the content it wrote and leave it selected while moving on to the next step to generate an outline. After selecting the number of outlines that I'd like Rightsonic to generate for me, I'll click Generate Outlines. And just like that, I have three different outlines for the structure of my blog. I can study these and even edit them to mix and match the best ideas. Here you have the option to select either any one of the full groups of outlines generated by the AI or select individual outlines from all the groups. After editing and selecting an outline that's going to work for me, I'll be taken to the final step where Writesonic will write the entire article for me. Everything should be lined up for me at this point to just click write an article. And this step will take a few extra seconds for Writesonic to do its thing. But in less than a minute, boom. I have the entire article written for me. And oftentimes, Rightsonic's gone and found a royalty-free image for me that works well with my content. And anytime you scroll through a blog article that Rightsonic's written, you'll be amazed at how much they've gotten right. But almost every time, there's a couple of tweaks that need to be made. Let's talk about what Rightsonic's great at. What Rightsonic gets right 100% of the time is structure. Every article that Rightsonic puts together is optimized for search engine optimization and uses proven frameworks to discuss the topic in a way that audiences will receive the information. It's also great at keeping a unified voice throughout the entire article. When it comes to the accuracy of the information, Rightsonic is awesome at providing helpful, accurate tips about broad topics. That would be helpful to someone who's being introduced to that topic for the first time. But you'll want to read over all of the content that Rightsonic produces for you each time it does to ensure its accuracy. Because as you begin to have Rightsonic write about more niche topics, you'll begin to find that the information it provides isn't always true. Be sure to pay attention to stats and other factual information. And be sure to find references on the internet that would agree with what Rightsonic has produced. Or edit the content that Rightsonic made to make it factual. But even if you're having Rightsonic create content for you about a super niche down topic and it's getting lots of the information incorrect, it's still going to save you a ton of time. Instead of being tasked with writing an entire article, you're just having to go through and correct some information about a topic, hopefully of which you're already an expert. After completing your content, you can scroll to the top to either post it directly to your wordpress.com or wordpress.org website using WordPress's third-party integrations, which we'll have a link in the description below this video to show you how to set those up. You can save it to be easily referenced from your Rightsonic dashboard, or you can download it to be copied and pasted anywhere you see fit. If though you feel like your content isn't quite ready to be published yet and you wanna expand on it further before you let anyone see it, you'll definitely wanna check out Rightsonic's next powerful AI tool that we'll be discussing in the next video in this series, the Sonic Editor. To try the AI article writer, Sonic Editor, or any of the other powerful time multiplying writing tools that Rightsonic provides for you yourself, visit our website using the link in the description to sign up for a free 2,500 word trial. So that's it for this video on Rightsonic's AI article writer. We'll see you in the next video. And if you have any questions, let us know.